What's going on guys? My name's Gerard. Today we're going to learn how to fake your frontside smith stall. So before you learn this trick, it helps if you know how to half cab rock fakie, frontside kick turn, and probably some version of axle stall. Alright, fakie frontside smith, really fun trick and probably going to be your first dabble into a smith stall on a mini ramp. So how it works, you're going to come up fakie, turn your board so your entire back truck gets up on top of the coping, but you're going to dip the front of your board into the transition. So this is the definition of a smith stall. On a steeper transition, even part of your board will be on the coping, but since this is pretty mellow, um, you're going to dip it as much as you can. Then you're going to turn your body back in front side and ride away. For a lot of people, this can be a good gateway into front side tricks if they're not comfortable opening their shoulders all the way up to go into a front side stall regular. And that's because when you come up fakie, like a half cab rock to fakie, even though it's a front side trick, you're turning your body in the same direction you would for backside if you were going regular. And so for a lot of people, it feels a lot more comfortable. One of the important things to note right off the bat is for Smith stall, you gotta get your truck all the way on top of the coping. It's gonna give you a nice balance point to lock that truck in and then dip that Smith up front. What makes this trick a lot different than the other front side stalls or fakie stalls in general is you're not really gonna pivot. So for axle stalls, 5.0 stalls, you're kind of pivoting into the stall. A fakie front Smith is actually more of a shift. So if you try and pivot, you typically don't have enough time to get into the stall and you'll slip out. So what you wanna do is a quick shift of your body. So just like every other trick, your shoulders are gonna guide where your board goes. And so you wanna shift your hips and your shoulders pretty quickly to get the board to come around into the Smith. So you're coming up fakie as you approach the coping, you're gonna shift into that Smith stall. Unlike some other Smith stalls where you might play around with your shoulder position, you pretty much just want your shoulders lined up with your board. So since the board is angled into the ramp, your front shoulder is going to be as well. Foot position for this trick can be pretty important. I like to have my back foot right in the center of the tail with my heel hanging off a little bit. That's going to be important for coming back in. When I first learned this trick, I would keep my front foot up on the bolts and you can still do it that way. But if you're trying to get a deeper dip into the ramp with a Smith, having your front foot all the way up there, it's not going to work. So if you're having trouble getting that dip, try sliding your front foot back a little bit closer to the center of the board and it's going to be easier for you to dip into the ramp. After you get the stall down, you're going to have to learn how to come back in. Now, depending on how steep the ramp is, when you're first learning this trick, you might be able to come back in just by dipping your shoulder and leaning in. Because of how this stall works and you're already dipped in, you kind of have some leverage on that back wheel. So if you just lean back in, it's going to roll over the coping. You really don't have much risk of hanging up on this trick at all. Where you get a little bit more risk of hanging up, but I think it's a lot easier and a lot more stylish to come in, is to come in like you would from a front side axle stall. So when you're in the stall, you're gonna shift all the pressure back to your heel, lift the board back up. That's gonna cause the back wheel to slide over and drop back in. Some people even do a little bit of a hop to do that to make sure the wheel comes over, but the key there is putting all the pressure back in your heel. So to come back in from this trick, all the pressure on the heel, turn your shoulders back into the ramp and drop back in. Fakey frontside Smith is a really fun trick. Like I said earlier, it's kind of a gateway to frontside tricks if you're struggling to get into them the normal way. And in my opinion, it's the easiest Smith stall to learn. So before you even learn regular frontside Smith or backside Smith, this can be a great way to get into that stylish stall without having to worry about some of the tougher versions. Don't forget, leave a comment down below. Let me know what trick you want to learn next or what trick you want to see me learn next. And if you learn a new trick, send a video my way. You might find yourself at the end of the next video. Till then, see you guys next time. Like I said, keep your shoulders and hips lined up to get that shift nice, quick, and tight 